Five, We're rolling. Okay. Four, Hold on. Three, Hold on. Two. Not ready. Good evening. Welcome to Off Constantly, your weekly ADD theater and pop culture extravaganza. I'm your host, Bamba. With me, as always, is Samurai. Konnichiwa. And. Under the table drumming backwater. If you knew anything about uh, Morse code, you would totally. I totally did. And said. you should be ashamed of yourself. You're lucky the FCC doesn't shut us down for that. You know what? Next the FCC Lincoln. won't let me be or let me be me. I can't do the rest That's of it. that song. That was good. That was good. We know where you're going. Yeah. So how the heck you guys been? I haven't. We haven't seen each other in feels like a long time. What's new in your world? Pregnant? <clears throat> Okay. Dave? Not that I, uh, I am pregnant, actually. Are you? Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Is it a boy or a girl? Still um, I'm going to... They will decide that for themselves. Thank you. They will. Yeah. So, <laughs> right now, as the cameras you know can what? see... That is great of you, man. Yeah. That's, That's great, great of you. Much. That is nice of you. So, as they're seeing on Facebook Live, while we're all working here, see, you can tell, you saw the beginning of the show, now they'll edit this out later, but you can hear they're all talking. Distracting us. And look at some aren't even even paying attention. Because I could sit like, oh, there he's not paying attention. And that's our camera crew. That's why this show looks so crappy when you watch it on whatever. So um Okay, we're getting actual direction now. But anyway, we're going to a new format tonight. I'm gonna see you guys later. Bye. Um we're going to a new format tonight where we actually have a new segment. Da 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 Whoa! <laughs> I forgot it, it plays it again. Um, <laughs> see, this is the part where Dave says, this is why you should not do Facebook Live during the show. And then we argue about it, and I say yes. But see, we had, like, there were nine people watching there. Now there's 13. Now there's 13. See, as a smart director, you should be Facebook live in this as well. So our new segment is this. This is our box, oh, what should we call it? That looked, that, it seriously is depressing. Like, I mean, that is the most. It kind like, of reminds me oh, of work. Oh, I put the files in there that I don't ever look at again. What would you huh. keep in here? What was this, an old floppy disk container? I think like, it's a stash what box. The heck? Yeah, I mean, it's otherwise Dave's, it's a stash box. It's Dave's stash box from home. All right, condoms yeah. go up top. No, there's Cigarettes no, go down in the no, bottom. No, that's, that's straight up black tar heroin in that thing, so. All right. So we could call it the go. BT box. Cocaine the up what? top? The BT box. BT. Black. T I like the, it. And not explain what BT stands for. Just yeah. call it the BT box. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Sam. You just named it. So let's consult with the BT box and see what today's subjects are. Today's subjects are. I'm excited. I don't know. I don't. The none box, of us knew. The BT Normally box, we know. They hide things. The BT box is. It, it has your deepest, darkest secrets. Right, it's Dave? Right, Bama. Thank you. Bowers Toy Box. I killed a homeless man. That's really sad, BT. What What was his name? I didn't ask. You dirty, dirty B. Clark. Dave. Clark. Not you didn't kill a Clark. Anything but a Clark. So tonight's subjects are sweet or sweat, whichever we choose. Dave's not a very good speller, so are you no, sure that's what it says? No, I, that's why I'm saying. Oh, I mean, yeah, it's sweat. It could be sweet, though, because, I mean. It is sweet sweat. Okay, sweet that sweat. That is a thing. Name I used to dance under. That is a thing. Second thing is <laughs> robot bodies. Name I used to dance under. Yeah, well played. Nice. Tonight's soil minute is mollusols. If you put them in a bottle and threw them, it would be a mollusol. Cocktail. Hey, yeah. hey. Oh, Take a drink goodness. of that. And lastly, we have du -ca -du, du -ca -du, Latin America. Hola, bamba. So, tonight's first subject is sweat. Let's get this out of the way right now because I don't think there's ever been a worse subject. Really? Are you just embarrassed? Of sweat? Mm, well, as a fat guy, I do sweat a lot, and in places most other people don't. For instance, at the age of 30, those of you that are at home right now under the age of 30, something happens on your 30th birthday you start to develop something called ass sweat. It never happened before, and it'll never, like, until that point in your life, 
things were fine all day. But at 30, an uncomfortable sweat gland starts to grow in your ass. I, I think it's pretty much like a defense mechanism against um, bugs. <laughs> like, because, like, bugs. bugs can actually, like, bugs. smell rotting decay. <laughs> and at 30, like, ants and, I don't know, like, do you feel like more bugs Fruit are flies are going to crawl right up into that Wait area. What's that? Your theory might actually hold water. And so you're at 30. Backwater. You're, <laughs> I mean, I've got a lot of backwater, backwater going on here. Gotcha. And I'm just saying, like, I had. That's how I, he got his name. At 29 and a half, I felt, you know, bugs might be crawling up in there. And then you know, at 30, all of a sudden. Gone. gone. But all of a sudden you're walking around, you know, Goodwill or something, and you're going. Why does it feel like a swamp well, back there? And I feel like that is the orkin of uh, nature's butt orkin. Butt orchid? Yeah, orkin. Orkin, orkin. like the orkin man. Oh, butt. Yeah. <laughs> so I thought natural. that was like a Star Wars reference yeah, for a second so did there, I. and I was like not getting it. Because I may have had a colony of ants in that area, yeah. and on my 30th birthday, the colony migrated to... Uh, my inner they ear. Mi- I don't know they, where the hell they, they migrated up water. No, no they went up water. What's going to be interesting is in like nine years when Sam turns thirty, when see if it actually happens to her too. Uh, you know, as an athlete, yes. you sometimes experience that. Really? Yeah. I think well, so. obviously we yeah, do that. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah like when I was as an athlete, the, yeah. But that's a different kind of butt sweat. Uh, when I was running the uh, thirty-minute liquor store run um i like totally would like have experienced ass wet when i was like so, in my 20s run to get cigarettes yeah I'll ass totally. wet yeah it's everywhere have you, you ever, go no no i'm curious now yeah, keep go going ahead. okay well, I was well have you ever it. like sometimes like my back will just get sweaty yeah and i i call it i'm mexican or like itchy never mind no it doesn't we're gonna edit itchy. that out yeah that's probably a good idea yeah but yeah sometimes you just get a sweaty back sweaty back syndrome Yep. sucks. It does. And you're like, why am I, I'm just sitting in the car, why am I, why is my back so sweaty? Right? I mean. What's going on back Yes, there? I've just robbed the bank, but, you know, I mean, why is it so, why is it yeah. so wet back there? No. Well, you guys, is that where, you guys don't have is to Is that where the ass sweat, sweat comes back? <laughs> Come on now. It's a different thing. Maybe, it's like, well, next maybe we know. haven't met each other, but I have. So you've had the boob sweat. Oh my God. Every night I take off my shirt and I'm like, what is that smell? And it's, it's me. It's boob sweat. Yeah. But, I'm but you know what I heard? It. The more hair you grow, it the less sweaty. Yeah, it. I'm like a porpoise under. But here, you got so. there's like a zone. There's this zone where it's too much hair and it makes yeah. you more sweaty. So you got to like get it to this the zone. Sorry. Where it's not too long and it's not too short. That's what I heard. The hair. Yeah, my friends are growing out their armpit hair. Why? Feminist. Why do girls? Oh my God! Please, Why you not? need to stop them. <laughs> Why don't you need to stop them? You know Just what? like you need to stop talking. Oh. You know I can't what, concentrate. You know what, though? What? They were making some good points. They're going to diet and take a picture. And then they're like, they're like, you know what? Why? Like, why do I care? Like, it's it's like a thing of like, it's like a test for myself to see if I can have armpit hair. That's, I mean, I'm sorry. Or are you sorry because you're a man or? I. Oh. No. Answer that one. Gosh. Keep your laws off their bodies. Obvious. I, they're not, it's not a law. I'm just saying that it... Well, like, don't you think a woman would rather have an unhairy man? I don't know. Would you? I don't know. Sometimes it's See, like, I oh, think it's I'd be itchy. creepy. Like, it's itchy. Like, if you wanted to date 12-year-olds, that's okay, but that's... I mean, no, it's not. <laughs> okay. No, you're right. It's, it's not. <laughs> no, I, I think... <laughs> Thank you for pointing that out. Keep, that's not what I meant. Keep your laws off yeah. our uh, ages. Uh, I just so. don't think women are going to walk around going, oh my God, I wish my man had no hair. So my friend, she's just like, so how do you like... Oh, God, no. And they're just petting it? No. Yeah, it's like a little chia pet. And and what do you think of that? I was really uncomfortable. Thank you. But then I was like, you know because what? Because she was also like... So are you, are you trying to see an experiment? I mean, if I showed you my armpit hair right now, yeah. it'd be weird. It would be. But, like, I'm not the, at but the, the fact of that my you, friends. If you want to do it, I'll turn said, around. Okay, I'll... The I'm fact that move. you just said showed you my armpit hair tells me you're at least kind of in. I'm I'm not trying to be in, but like, you know, I'm probably about to shave my armpit hair. But like it grows quick. You wouldn't know. 
would you? No. Exactly. Uh -uh. Think about it. I wouldn't have a problem. I got a lot of shit to worry about. Like language. Whoa. My bad. S S S that was ed yeah. editor. Edit. Remember that was seventeen edit minutes into back the show. In. Um, was it? Was over it? every word we said. Oh, Sorry about that. Right. Nice. Just edit this whole section. No. Nope. Um, the armpit hair. Well, yeah, because it grosses me out. Remember oh, my story I told you about the oh the woman from the the where Chewbacca was it? women at the Five, Five Guys? Guys. Yeah. You know I do. And that. That's what I thought of as soon as you said that. Yeah. Because they do. It, it right smells. Link. No, they say that they feel less sweaty. Bull honky. Well, like, what did I tell you? There's a link. There's a special. There's the special link you got to get to. So maybe you should trim your armpit hair, and maybe you'll be less sweaty. Try it. Do it right now. No. On air. No. Backwater will because bite then it off. I'm, I'm telling you, you, that's where it starts is with the I'm not going to shave my armpits and I'm making a statement, right? Fine. But then you're going to be like, well, if I have long armpit hair, I am not going to wear deodorant because my natural smell is delicious. And it's not true. And then you're going to be like, my natural style smells delicious. I'm just going to grow my leg hairs out. And then you're going to have hairy toes and then it's all yeah. over. Don't you have hairy toes? Uh, yes, but I'm not back a guy. But like, Going. on the other hand, Okay. What happened? Okay. On the other hand, it's the box. Oh, it's always the box. <laughs> right? Box problems. Sounds right. Thank you. On the other hand, armpit hair. Yeah. I forget where I was going. It's yeah. a delicacy. Dang it! It is it a is. delicacy. Now, if you could grow Swing. it out like long, like if it, if you could maybe take try putting Rogaine under there and really enhance it. And then do like dreads. So you went like this, it looked like a spider. Oh, coming what if out. it was like pink? That'd be cool. What if it was like pink? No. Blue. No. Green? Wrong. Purple. Purple would be cool. Yeah. One's purple, one's yellow, and you're exactly. just like skull. Oh no, that's uh -huh. different. Now if there was a theme to it, but see, there usually isn't. It's just there might be. usually gross. There might be. So armpit hair, I don't know. And I'm just are these are these people are they single or are they? You wouldn't? may or may not know one of them. Okay. And if you do, you know who it is. Yeah, I do. I know. Yeah. I knew exactly as you said it where yeah, you were exactly. going with this. So, exactly. but anyway. Um, love her regardless. So right. to summarize, Bamba's hate. To Bamba summarize. hates. Um, to summarize, Bamba hates natural natural women's bodies. Like you just hate. That's not women's bodies. Not at all. What I said. This and, is where I was going with it. Go ahead. Okay. That's it. Evolution is telling us we want body hair there. Why not let Who it? Who is it telling? Why do Our you hate bodies. women so much? Right. Huh? Why do you hate women so I much? I don't hate... Like, you just hate them. They're disgusting. Why they are you twisting my words? Hair. You know what? Why are you twisting their armpit hair? I that wouldn't. That would hurt. Now, and oh, that's the point we're going to get to. Flowing Oh, did you see my French braids? I'm going to have a mullet on this side and French... You know, it's just... No. That sounds like a fun. It sounds fun. I'm actually into this. I'm kind of into the mullet... It's I might actually be more attracted to you with like a French like braid on top, and, 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 and then just long, just like, like, and then you get some like gel. Willie Robinson under the. You bottom. get some gel and you slick it down. Oh. <laughs> you get like a Jerry curl on your arm. <laughs> oh my god! How is this not a trend? I don't know. How is this not a trend? I don't know. But that all started with the subject of sweat. Thanks a lot, Dave. You took us down a road that is awful. Do your ears ever sweat though? I don't think so. That's good, because that'd be weird. That yeah, would be. That would be weird. I don't think that happens. I think we can we let, let's go on a subject too. Yeah, I, I suppose. Uh, I can keep asking though on the next subject let's is see, ear sweat. Let's see where this goes. Robot bodies. That's the yeah, topic? Man. I don't know what to do with it. Um my guess the idea is that if I have to get into the mind of Dave. Which is all about sweat. Scarlett Johansson. Yeah. And he loves Scarlett Johansson. That's exactly thinking, what it's about. If you Look put at him. He's blushing. your brain in he's a like, robot so body, excited. and that robot body is Scarlett Johansson, what do you do with yourself? I never leave the house. I hope I'm like the Austin you Powers girl. You certainly grow robot arm hair. hair I hope I'm the girl from Austin Powers and just have like machine tits. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. Hello. 
Got a machine barrel around. Green tips. Green to red. Ma machine, machine tips, what? Machine. Yeah, that's what she said. Tips. Yeah. yeah, what was what, the fembots? We can't say that? I don't know. We can say whatever we want. Nobody watches this thing anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so so your your vote would be for robot Cans. I don't know. Like what okay, let's robot talk cans. about the different types of robot bodies. Okay, there's Okay. Um, okay. There's, there's like, Robbie the robot body. Yeah. Okay. This isn't helping me. So. What? You don't know what a robot yeah. is. You know no, Robbie is. I don't know Robbie. From um, Danger Will Robinson. Okay. Lost in space. It's not gonna help. Okay. It's like, so okay. There's an external. Like, there's gonna be an external looking robot, and then there's gonna be an internal looking robot. How okay. would we go with that comparison? Okay. So like exoskeleton, endoskeleton from Terminator. Yeah, we could just say internal, external. So Arnold Schwarzenegger. Before he got into the fire, Arnold Schwarzenegger after he oh. got into fire. Show me oh. the fever. Oh, would you live forever with a robot body? Oh, interesting. Now, so we're, we're going to actually get into the science behind the robot body. You know what? Would you do it? If you, got you know what? If I was involved in fame... I'm going to live in a robot body forever. Which we are. So. I'm going to learn you how to grow. But. You're not, you're not guaranteed a forever life. If you're right. But if, you, if, I, if someone came up to you and said, what if your battery here's the deal. Gone? Jay. Your wiring's gone Sam, bad. I will guarantee you eternal life. You will be able, your brain oh. will still age, but we don't know what's going to happen as it ages. But your body physically is going to be alive forever. Let's face it: when you age, your brain, you lose your filter, and you pretty much just start saying the most Whatever inappropriate things. Right. And you know, typically, I, as it should, it's going to be. be some crazy racist Maybe. stuff. Why don't we start that way? We kind of do start that way, where we, we do. don't have our filter, and then as we get into like teenage years and. We learn manners and what we're not supposed to say in what situation. You get scared. No. We do. Yeah, I mean, so all if we of had us a should robot body, like a curious mind child. Would it be, a be like a society of just people that hated everybody? No, it would just be like, this is the facts. Your hair looks weird today. You have not because enough it's under your hair. hair. Very long. That is not normal. No. But why is that not normal? Because... Evolution I don't know. Thousands of it, years of evolution have said it's not normal. I feel Thousands like, of years of evolution has oh. told us that our bodies want to continue growing hair there. No. We wear, yeah. No. Yeah. No. We think wear short shorts. Um, you know, I don't think that I'd want to live forever with a robot body. You know why? Why? Because I would be so bored after a while. I'd be like, all right, enough of this nonsense. Like, okay. Everybody around me is an idiot. I mean, like, I would also say that. However, what if your robot body could be like, well, I'm just going to go live under the sea for a while and just hang out with the dolphins, and there you go, different life. Hey, no, I'm having fun something. with the subject. And what you're you almost like, on. Next thing you you're know, almost on I'm going anyway, to go so. live in the jungle and be hang out with the monkeys. Like, well, what just... happened with the robot body in the jungle? Though? Would it rust? Oh, my goodness. Well, and with the robot body, would you still produce enough necessary ass sweat that would create the orcan effect of the ants oh, not going in? but would that ass sweat cause sweat rusting? Wah, wah, wah. Oh, wheel of robots. We have a new wheel. Oh, we have a wheel of robots? Why don't we hit that wheel wow, before? I've never cared about anything less. Let's hit that wheel after the soil minute. Yawn. Ooh. Yes. Jay, you what? go get a glass of water. Yeah. And and My command. And and oh, Dave's not ready for the soil minutes, so we'll continue to say things because we can't he walked talk in to here each other like, because we're scared of each other. And we are robots. Are we? We are. What does there. one male and one female do when there's no other? <laughs> We talk about the weather. And the weather. And... We've already covered mollusols. Another season we did. Not this oh. season. Oh, this Things is the changed. this is the season... What season are we on? Four or five? This is season five. Ooh, this is the season five mollusols. This is actually the season of Not the Not to be confused with the previous season mollusols. So, you know how many TV shows on network TV we have outlasted? No. I think most of them. Really? 
We've lasted four seasons longer than Joey did. <laughs> we lasted longer than the original Star Trek. We've lasted longer than Thundercats. We lasted longer than Longmire. Until oh. it got picked up by Netflix. Whoa. Whoa. No, we Dude. want that. We want Whoa. to be picked up by Netflix. It was a segue. Whoa. Oh, have you guys heard of Netflix? Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm here to talk about soil. Thank God. Not TV. Well, then why are you talking about TV? Do some people think TV is soil? Yes. Speaking of soil, and you are now here, and you're sitting in where Jay was. So let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Um, How do you feel about armpit hair on women? Um, If there's people with arm hair. Armpit. I didn't say arm hair. Women have arm hair. Armpit. To our fans who happen to have armpit hair, we are very welcoming. So the views expressed by the host do not necessarily reflect the views of the station or the producers. Now, now that he said that, director. I will read verbatim what David has written on this cue card about armpit hair on women. Whoa. Bamba, please bring up sweat on the air tonight because of the increasing trend across America for the female is it a trend? demographic? Is that what that's supposed to be? I don't think it's a trend. That I think want... lasers to remove armpit hair are a trend. It is more of a trend. <laughs> but you need it to be able to remove it. Well, see, now it's hard for me to read verbatim if you keep interrupting me. <laughs> so I'm just going to stop right there and you tell us about Molosols. Wow, he actually remembered the name of it. Because it's written down. <laughs> okay, Molosols are from the Latin mollus, which is? A Up dog. Soft. What's up, dog? <laughs> okay. <laughs> prairie soils. Um, Molosols are basically prairie soils. They're thick, dark surface due to the prevalence of plant armpit roots. Oh. <laughs> plant roots, very similar to armpit hair. Um, globally, they only account for about 7% of our ice-free land. But in the United States, they are by far the biggest soil order. Really? They're 21.5% of the United States. It's almost 25%. Molosols are by far the biggest agricultural producers. That's one of the reasons the U.S. is so strong. And uh, some other countries that are rich with molosols are Russia, Mono! Kazakhstan, and Ukraine. Kazakhstan, is not where uh, What is your favorite from? soil? Um, I really do like a good mollusol. I know, I thought you might. Yeah. What does the horizon look like? It's thick and dark. Just Name I used to dance under. All right, um, so mollusols. The molosols. thing is, though, Western with... Western half of Minnesota. I learned something tonight. Mm-hmm. That mollusols cover half, 0.5 more than what it would be if it were legal drinking age. Ah, wow. You are correct. I am. Wow. 21.5%. Fun fact so, today. Before you leave, I want to ask you one question. All right. If you were to be abducted by aliens, he and they were been. to sub- take all of the knowledge that you have <laughs> about soil out of your brain, okay? Right. And they were to replace it with bubble tape, how long would so it bad. take you to solve an equation involving fractions? Hmm. Hmm. You remember that horrible movie, Independence Day 2? Mm-hmm. No, I don't. No I fell asleep during it. That answer is correct. <laughs> right. Let's bring back water back in for our final subject, which is Arriba! Ay, 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 ay! Latin America! But before we get to Latin America, we're going to do the Wheel of Robots. Because we- I got to be honest, is that your IQ? Sperm count what? Yep. 10 what? Yep. Is that how much time we have left? Yep. Or how much we've done? Nope. How much we have left? We still have 10 minutes left? We can charge them. Okay. That's literally what she said. Okay, so we're going to go to our wheel of robots and we're going to spin it. And we end up with what? Data. 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 (laughs) Okay, so now what do we do with this? We don't call it. Let's all do our impression of data. Data. (laughs) Beep. Okay, so you're Beep. first. Peep. Peep. <laughs> Peep. Okay. I find that illogical. 
It's not a logical, that was a Klingon thing, but. I think we should do an entire episode on how I don't understand human emotion. And then we'll talk about it. The, concept, the entire episode. The concept of humor. For all nine seasons of the show. The concept of humor is lost on me. And I don't understand it. Let's go to the holodeck and try and figure out how to do it. I am a Spiner fan. Fam. Have you ever heard, uh, like, watch the documentary Trekkies, and it's pretty incredible. Do they not shave their armpit hair? Uh, not li- if Brett, if Brett or Brett. What I love Brent about this Spider. entire interaction is Sam's going, what the hell are they talking about? She's going, beep, 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 beep. How does that have beep, to deal with that? Beep. beep. So what is it? Spin it again. Da- data. Oh, data was a character data. in Star Trek. Star Trek. R2-D2. Oh, man. Okay, so. Okay, so we're done. I know that one. R2-D2. What's your favorite robot of all time? <laughs> the ones at Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's be the Chuck E. Cheese band. You play the big bass. You can play the banjo. And I'll be the... I'll be the drummer. Okay, ready? Here we go. And let's let's do a happy birthday to Tim, okay? Who wants to do the talking? Sam, you got to do it. Well, if I'm, I'm playing the bass, I got to do the low part. <laughs> well, oh, here there's a birthday in the house. It's Tim. Tim. Well... Happy, happy What we need is somebody, as we're all moving, we need to make the noise that was going on. Because you can always hear the things moving in the background. Well, Tim, it's your birthday. We're going to sing a song. And it's going to be special for you. Ready, guys? Hit it. Happy, happy, uh, to every girl and boy. Hope this very special day brings you lots of joy. Hope this birthday present you get from mom and dad will make this very special day the best you ever had. Is that a- happy birthday, Tim? <coughs> That was really good, guys. Wasn't it? We could go on the road as, as, an, as an animatronic band. <laughs> Which, by the way, I were you you weren't in part. Was she there when I was talking about it? I submitted us for a new job. I saw on Facebook that they were hiring acts of three, or or I think it was up to five people. Okay. For cruise ships. Oh God. It pays ten thousand dollars a week per group. All right. Free room and board, and all we have to do is commit to 19 weeks. So I submitted our names with, I gave them a link to our show. Um, If we get on it, I say we do it. I'm in. And we could do 19 weeks. Yeah. 10 grand. Like A piece or together. That's for the whole group. But still, that's so much money. Wait, ten thousand dollars for nineteen anything. weeks? Yeah. yeah. Per week. I'm. Oh, wait, a week? Yeah, a week. Oh, okay. I was like, okay, a that's week fine. I was like, group. ten thousand dollars for nineteen. Yeah, ten thousand dollars for nineteen. Because we're like, because we're doing it, I'll lose my house. We're thirteen but, sitting yeah. in our fort, looking through our girly magazine, <laughs> saying ten thousand dollars for nineteen what? weeks. Oh my God! We could buy like seven new cars. I could totally buy and like a so house. We pair, could buy a, we could buy our own apartment that. building and then just live there. Yeah, that that's an investment that's the dream. in our future, right? I, my dream is for us all to live in the same apartment building every I don't night. Ever want to live in an apartment building? We did. I did. I mean, well, Jay kind of did too because he that never was good left. When but you were twenty. How do you know? Have you ever, how old are you now? Over 25, maybe. Okay, so have you ever lived in an apartment over 25? She, if you just want to know how old she is, past her prime is the correct Right, age. right. Wow. She's at the age now where she's making that decision going, armpit hair or not? Right, mm. I mean, like, I was past Do I not care anymore or do I still care? 
What if I didn't care about Karen? I don't. That that's would be not caring about stuff. That's some robot body. Yeah, mess, that's man. That's 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 that doesn't even make sense. Who says things like what that? What's the actual topic we're on? Latin America. Okay, so what if uh, what if uh, BB eight BB eight was actually Latin America? I thought that American. was BRB. You know what we need <gasps> here. My impression of BB eight. <laughs> that was pretty good, man. Um, Still don't so, get it. I don't get that. Is that like because it rhymes with? Because it was no, one BB-8. little ball on top of another bigger ball. Did you see ball? the last Star Wars movie, The Force Awakens? BB-8 was a ball, and it had oh, a little yeah. head that kept going like this. Okay, yeah. never mind. I didn't see that. that was good. BB-8. I love best new character in the Star Wars movies. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Meanwhile. In Latin America. Latin America. What is there to talk about Latin America? I mean, we've got three whole minutes to cover it. I mean, what really qualifies as Latin America? Well, it's anything like America, America, but with a Latin flavor. Isn't it anything south of Mexico? Mm-hmm. Or is Mexico south? No. But would you Mexico's consider not Latin America? Jamaica's is Mexico- not Latin American. Well, no. I mean, well, we're talking about America. Why guess things when we can just say... I want to say that Mexico is part of Latin America. Am I wrong? Okay, Google. But it's what? Anything to hear is considered Latin America. Central America. Here's a summary from Wikipedia. Latin America refers to territories to the where the Spanish or Portuguese languages prevail. Mexico, most of Central and South America. The Caribbean, Cuba, the Dominican Republic, and Puerto Rico. Dale. So Mexico South. Yeah. Yep. That's considered Latin America. But a lot not of Jamaica. A lot of fun countries down there. Honestly, great culture. I mean, great culture. Like just their willingness to live with the That's the family the all lives in one house. Country. You know, they take in the the grandparents. And the and armpit just, hair all lives in the armpit. No, I mean, they don't perfect. do that. But oh. that whole that whole idea, I think, is something we all could learn from. What? Latin America. Well, just family the, staying together. Yeah, the family. family. I agree. You know? Why in America do we do that? It's like oh, I got We graduate I gotta go high school. Send my and mom it's to gone. Them. I'm out of here. I grew up in this town. I'm not gonna stay here. Why do they do that? Well, even or just like oh, like I don't want my mom living with me. It's like she wiped your ass. Yeah. She oh. wiped your butt. You're, 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 and after you turn thirty, your ass sweat. Yeah, and she should be back there doing it again because obviously now there's sweat back there that your mom needs to do her job and get down and dirty. It's not really where I was going with it, but but your we heart's in it. We know your heart is right. right. So, all right. Well, that brings us to the close of our show. It was a very eventful one. I, is, I think this is obviously our best show ever. Well, and the close is everybody's favorite part because what? they know the close of the show because they know they don't have to watch anymore. It's over. They can go on to their lives yeah. now. But it's for a half hour, or... we do appreciate being in your homes and sitting with you on your couch in your living room. Uh, we know Hopefully there's a lot of mom. entertainment out there to watch. We're happy you chose us. Uh, what's your closing comments? You know. Let it fly. If at first you don't succeed, Get yourself a robot body and grow your armpit hair out. See you next time.